friends in this video I'm going to show you how to design a simple mechanical part in three dimension inside SOLIDWORKS using SOLIDWORKS just where you select the front plane and uh, just stop it first I need to take a center line verticals as well as horizontal okay, it is necessary to do this and you need to fix all the dimensions mm, I'm gonna start this design basically just mm, the design I'm going to draw here is by using the line okay so what I'm gonna do is just going to draw a vertical line from here okay from this part and uh, giving it a dimension of 39 divided by 2 okay and uh, height height approximately approximately 38 that's it Okay, so select the line and draw another vertical line from this axis in vertical direction, giving it a small dimension and uh, give it a height of approximately 20. That's it, and distance from this, from the vertical center line is about 52 divided by 2 something like this and join this and this perfect now just for it's going to be from here to this point is uh, 61 divided by 2 that's it it's our vertical line it's going to be a 3 mm like this you might be wondering then what I'm doing but believe me this is a very simple and easy mechanical part you can draw horizontal one and this is going to be a uh, outer diameter of the part <coughs> sorry 124 divided by 2 again a vertical line which is going to be which is of 9 mm of length again line of 2 mm in length of 2 mm of height so about to finish this point and this one give it a dimension of divided by 2.5 height this point and this line should be 38 sorry give this to part and make it horizontal and join these two points that's it this is what we all need this is going to be 
this is what it should look like go to feature and revolve now select the axis boom this is what exactly we need now another thing that I want to show you in this tutorial is going to sketch on this thing okay so show so what I'm gonna do is select the plane and sketch so how I'm gonna sketch is just draw a line something like this and uh, make select the edge of this circle and convert entities okay now select trim and trim the remaining part okay and convert this and this line for construction okay <coughs> now dimension and select this line and make angle of 45 exactly now select the point and place it on any anywhere on the line now give it a dimension from the center line this point is going to be uh, 58 mm and uh, from this point to the bottom of this circle is about 15 something like this <coughs> now sketch off so what we have is this now go to feature and place geometry I'm gonna oh, for now I'm gonna hide this plane I mean select the plane select the point and the line so you have a plane in angle now select the plane and go to sketch and sketch select the circle and draw and give it a dimension of 45 to give it a diameter of 10 mm ok 10 mm so go to feature and extrude it in opposite direction and select a brief surface and select the surface that's it now again select the plane and sketch again draw a circle this time a little small circle and give it a dimension of approximately 3 mm and this time we are gonna use extrude cut go to this and up to surface select the surface and ok so this is a simple mechanical part which we call a uh, flange you can even give go to appear appearance and select the material metal or paint whatever you want and simply drag and drop over the surface You can assign any material to your part. So this is how SolidWorks works and how you can do.
design whatever you want if you like this tutorial please 